everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have an amazing St. Patrick's Day theme design to make. St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, and you guys know for me, I love St. Patrick's Day because for me personally, it represents longer days and also warmer and milder days. You're not having to dress up and bundle up under coats, hoodies, toboggans, scarves, and everything. And it's just a rebirth of nature, and I really, really love it and look forward to it and just represent summer is right around the corner. So really, really cool. I've already got the pattern printed out to its full size and attached to our material with clear packing tape and one quarter inch material is what's required for the whole pattern here and the pattern has a unique backstory behind it. Jerry Bear at Dead Eye Woodworks sent me the pattern free of charge with a couple other of his designs in an email and in the email he said he just wanted to support me and show appreciation for all that I do for the woodworking and scroll saw community and keeping the scroll saw a relevant tool in the woodworking community as well. Thank you so much for that Jerry. I hope I do this pattern justice. Jerry has an amazing Etsy shop where he sells his designs and everything where you can contact him for designs and everything and I'll link that down in the description box in the video but really really cool the pattern that we have here is a Celtic or Irish cross some people call it Celtic but really really cool you guys know I love crosses and I wear crosses all the time it's going to consist of three layers with the back layer having minimal detail and then the taller you get into the project you get more and more detail in it but really really cool since I'm running out of one quarter inch material we're only going to make one of each the back and middle layer here and we're going to stack cut and make two of the most intricate piece here for it to have some support with the thicker thickness cutting out everything on the scroll saw. And with the intricate detail here, what I will do personally on the scroll saw, and I hope this little tool here helps me illustrate this and it shows up on camera. When you get down to these hairpin turns here where it's like a straight V, what I will do personally is I will cut down one side, I will back up and cut through the interior cut and then cut down to get that fine point there. These cuts up here where it's more of like a right angle turn. I'm confident to do those at speed, but I will come down and back up and then go in to do those tight V turns. But really, really cool. I'm really excited to get this project started and get the project underway. Since everything is ready, let's head over to the drill press, drill all the pilot holes required so we can head back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we are taking a small drill bit to drill out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. All three layers of the pattern has internal cuts, especially the top layer here that has a multitude of interior cuts. And once we get to the scroll saw, we will just take our time and get all of them cut out. Over here on the scroll saw, I am using number five ultra reverse scroll saw blades for all of the cutting on this project and a new sharp scroll saw blade will fly through one quarter inch material so you will see me playing around with the speed dial on top of the scroll saw and slowing it down with the variable speed setting so I will have better control guiding the material into the blade and following the cut line. And as always I am just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. It took me around an hour and a half to do all of the scroll saw work on this project so it was one of those projects where I could zone out on and listen to some good music and anticipate St. Patrick's Day which is right around the corner. Burlington, North Carolina where I'm at does a St. Patty's Day bash and weather permitting I will be there hopefully it's a nice day and I will dress up as the pirate put some green on him and make some amazing memories with my community members and put smiles on faces. Doing the final few internal cuts on the middle layer of the project here and then we will proceed to cut out the top layer which I am going to stack cut and cut out two at one time and you will see I'm using that same ultra reverse number five scroll saw blade and the reason I'm stack cutting this piece here is not only to have two of a beautiful design but to also help support some of those smaller fragile cuts once more of the internal cuts get cut out. If you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me over on Instagram. I would really appreciate the support and I will also leave links to Jerry's Etsy store down in the description box below as well and that is where this amazing pattern as well as others can be found. 
Again, just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. Doing some of the final internal cuts here. And then when we take off the final internal cut, we will retension the blade and then we will be able to release all three layers of the pattern from the waste wood. And that is what we are doing here. And all three layers of this pattern sit flush on each other so it's very important that you follow the cut line and be as loyal to the cut line as you can be. This is the back layer here that had the minimal amount of internal cuts, just the four you see there in this final outside cut. And I did like that design feature in this pattern pack. Each layer of the cross got more elaborate and more detailed. But once this piece here is cut out, all of the scroll saw work will be done. Now at the workbench, we're removing the pieces from the waste wood. And we can start to see what the final project will look like. And now we will head over to sanding at the palm sander with 100 grit sandpaper and I'll sand everything front and back and then we can proceed to the final few steps here and I decided to stain the middle layer with Minwax wood stain and I made sure everything was saturated and had a nice layer of stain on it before wiping it off with a piece of t-shirt material and I hung it on a hook to dry and then once that was dry it was time to start the assembly process with medium grade CA glue and activator this is more than enough to assemble this project with although you could use regular wood glue and I'll let that dry around five minutes and come back and add the top layer and this one was a little more tedious because I was trying to get everything lined up and the right amount of glue on it. But once that went back into the clamps and dried around five minutes, the project was essentially done. After removing the clamps, I decided to stain the edges of the cross to give it a more uniform look. Being very careful here and I did not stain the back of the cross. I will do that later after the video is done and the top of the cross is clear coated and dried. But once this was done, I set it aside to dry around an hour and then it was time for several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss and the project was complete. And here we have the completed Irish cross cut out completely on the scroll saw with some beautiful detail just in time for St. Patrick's Day 2023 and it came out fantastic. Thank you Jerry at Dead Eye Woodworks for an amazing design. Thank you for sending me this amazing pattern. I hope I've done it justice for you and I hope you liked how I have went about finishing it. Really, really cool. It took me around an hour and a half to scroll everything out here. There is some small and delicate details in this project. I just took my time and let the blade do the work and I went through two scroll saw blades cutting this project out. When I felt the first blade getting dull, I switched them out for a fresh sharp blade and kept on keeping on, taking my time and letting the blade do the work. And I was as loyal as I could be to the cut line and as a result, all three layers of the quarter inch material there lined up perfectly in the project and everything came out great. Of course, I finished it in the rustic way that I like to see projects finished. You could paint this, stain it, do the milk paint on it. I think grain direction plays a huge part in this here to make sure everything looks nice and uniform. And because we stack cut it and made two of the top layer here, we have another piece here to finish off camera at my leisure. I haven't sanded this piece yet. but. This is what I love about scroll saw projects, the versatility of it. And you don't have to use all three layers of the material like I've done here. You can cut this out as a single pattern on its own and put it on a backer board, which is probably what I'm going to do. 
probably put it on a piece of half inch material and paint that green and then do my washer technique to get a perfect border all the way around it. It's just a multitude of ways to finish projects and if you've got a powerful enough laser on you, you could actually shrink this pattern down and make little pendants for necklaces to give out for St. Patrick's Day. But really, really cool. I had a lot of fun making this project and I'm so looking forward to St. Patrick's Day in those longer and warmer days. If you are one of the people that celebrates St. Patrick's Day the way a lot of people stereotypically celebrate it, please do it responsibly and take care of yourself. But again, I'm so looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the St. Patty's Day Bash where I'll dress up as the Irish Pirate if the weather cooperates with everyone around here in town. But really, really cool. I had fun making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. I will also link Jerry's Etsy shop where this pattern is available for purchase down in the description box below as well. That's about all for this one. And remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.